spoiled it really nice because these seem to be the same plants as um ooh, I've been wanting with these monstro whatever they're called. Can these be inside? Yeah. They could be indoor? Do they grow tall or fat? They grow Okay, how much is this? Thirty that? Oh, 100. Sorry, I heard 30. Okay. I'm gonna go plant shopping. These ones are nice. Cool, cool. Thank you. Good morning, guys. Happy Monday. Happy new vlog. Um, normally I kind of take Mondays off these days because I spend the whole day editing vlogs and stuff but I wanted to show you guys the plant store that I was just at um yeah this car doesn't run me over anyway I had no power so I came to work somewhere that has power and internet <laughs> last time I was here Friday though it was so slow it was really bad so I think I'm gonna do like my priority things then client work and call it a day. It's noon, so I really should put in quite a bit of work. If anything. Oh, how much the nail salon used to go to? Expanding, changing. They needed to change it. It was ghetto inside. <laughs> Bumpy, but they tried, so can't really judge. Just funny. Guys, so I'm back home now. I didn't really show you guys working or myself working. Wow. Um, at the coffee shop, well, restaurant, but I only get tea anyway. Um, uh, but yeah, basically it was just a day full of computer work. They had internet, they had power. I had no power, I had no internet, so it worked out very nicely. Right now, I just made the quickest stir fry possible. I didn't even add chicken because I was like, I'm not adding an extra 20 minutes standing here. Let <laughs> me just do what I gotta do. Um, I'm just making, or I'm sorry, warming white rice, and I'm just gonna chill. I'm trying to figure out how I can get my TV to connect to my phone internet. Don't understand why it's not working. Technically, if it's on hotspot, it should work, right? Uh, I'm gonna hack that today. Otherwise, I'm gonna read like I've been doing lately. Um, really successful day, so happy. Oh, I came on here to tell you guys. So, all of you have been asking for a very long time where everyone can kind of talk to each other, convene, ETC. So I made an Instagram account for our community. It's called Bachazi, go check it out. I will leave it here. And I'll also leave it in the description box below where you can click and get direct access. So it'll pretty much feature all the people I always interview, the businesses that I always showcase, um, other ones too, things that are happening in Kampala, in Africa, I guess. We're gonna get uh, eventually to Africa, but I was like, Rachel, relax. First, start posting. Post about Uganda, then you can post about other places. Um, but yeah, I feel like I meet so many cool people who definitely are very dope and are okay with people not necessarily just reaching out to them but more so like adding value and stuff so i was like why not put them all on a platform so yeah that's what that's about um i realized that i get a lot of questions too from my um from you guys asking specific things that i've already done a video on and then ow Ooh, sorry i burnt myself on rice and then i realized it was like a video two years ago or whatever so i'm gonna start adding clips to the videos as well, or clips of the videos as well, like little, basically shorts and reels, and then linking to the videos so you guys can easily access them and find them. So I hope that helps. That was what my today was really organizing and doing. And then what else? That's it, I'm very hungry. I'm done here, see you guys tomorrow. <laughs> Before I disappear, I wanted to show you guys my super easy stir fry. It takes literally like 10 minutes. Granted, you already have rice made if you don't then obviously it would take like 20 and i guess you could add chicken if it's going to be 20 minutes but i was just too lazy <laughs> i was too hungry and lazy to wait for chicken to be made so it's a veggie stir fry I'm very happy just finished filming a mid uh what's it called mid month and beginning of month end of month whatever you want to call it uh routine i'm here trying to take pictures for instagram um so it's like my glowy skin and all of that I don't have assistance, I'm doing this by myself so you guys can watch me do this, it's so funny. It's my makeshift set for me. <laughs> Cute, yeah? All right, so that video's done. I'm going to film a food video. I feel like I used to 
do a lot of cooking content back in the day um not on youtube though really but like on snapchat and stuff just like meals i would make and i'd record them why is that so dark like what's going on it's because of the window behind anyway um so yeah i'm gonna do a simple chicken bowl i like doing sh like sharing recipes and things that are quick Anything that requires a lot, I'm never going to make it. I'm going to buy it from the grocery store or from a restaurant. But quick, quick things like it's just spices that it's mainly a lot of and then simple ingredients. That's my type of shit. So I'm doing a chicken bowl today. I'm going to cut up all the ingredients. Then I'm going to do a real just putting it all together. Uh, I'm not going to show like the cooking process because it's not really much. It's just the chicken, but that goes in the oven. And there's just really no point in showcasing that. Like spice it how you want to. I guess um, I really shouldn't be holding my hair back like this because then the fronts break and I didn't want to do it this small for that simple reason I've been trying to grow back my edges so I try to like pull on them so they can come a little forward all right there we go let's start this chicken we're gonna have to deal with this dark situation um, okay so I feel like my chicken is cleaned and defrosted I put it in water to defrost because um, it was taking too long and I forgot to defrost it overnight. I like to usually go over what I'm filming the night before, but I guess it slipped my mind. So I'm gonna pound it and like just season it with chicken mix because the dressing is really the highlight of this video and then I don't want it to be overspiced with some randomness. But I'm on Cajun. I'm gonna put Cajun. Ah! I don't care, I don't care, I don't care. All right, let's beat up this chicken. Beat her up, beat her up, beat her up. But that works, cause when, um, well, I don't have Cajun seasoning, but I think I have all the ingredients to make Cajun seasoning, which I also wanna do a video of. I just don't have cute containers yet. <laughs> it's all about the aesthetic, guys. Can't just be making videos and then posting anything willy-nilly. It needs to look good. I'm just gonna probably mix it in a separate container and then, actually, I have this dish I don't use. Let me rinse it out. It'll be my Cajun spice dish. And actually will help me determine whether I like the way I've made the Cajun seasoning because I always just buy Cajun seasoning already. Um, but we don't have Cajun seasoning. Uganda, actually. It comes and goes. It was at ShopRite at one point. Should have bought a whole crap load because it's actually a really good price. It was like $5 or something for a big thing. But that was a, like a year and a half ago. So now, doesn't, it's just not there. So I'd rather learn to make my things that I can make and I can just continue to re-up on, you know? Plus it's better that way because then you don't, you can control like say the amount of sugar that they put in stuff because you really shouldn't be consuming sugar to be honest with you. So you can minimize it where it matters, like spices, or have it where it matters and minimize it where it shouldn't matter. So yeah. All right, my chicken is beat up, flattened. Um, the reason I did this is because I'm gonna cut it into, shred it essentially. So it just needs to be nicely done that way. Let me go look at my recipe to make my Cajun seasoning. All right, these are all the ingredients you need to make Cajun. I'll just like name them quickly. So obviously salt, um, garlic powder, black pepper, Spanish paprika, which is a smoked paprika. Um, it's just called Spanish paprika here. Um, oregano, thyme. Time, time, time. <laughs> um, cayenne, onion powder, and chili flakes. I says it's for like kind of a bit in there. I don't know. I'm kind of scared. I'm gonna put it in this bowl eventually, but I'm gonna mix it in a different bowl because I'm scared it might be too big or too small. Throw that one over there. So yeah, let's see what happens. Not bad at all. I haven't tried it. Um, not that I ever tried my Cajun seasoning before on its own, to be honest with you. But the chicken's there, ready to be done. I'm just kind of squishing the garlic powder bits. I feel like I should have shook it. Shook it? Shook it? Shook it? <laughs> before I put it in here, because now there's like little bits that are stuck. But at least I know that for next time. And actually, it's enough to fit in here. It's not bad. This is big enough. So, taste test after I do this recipe and see how it goes. <laughs> and this is good enough. This is probably going to melt in there. Hey guys, good morning. Happy Wednesday. Um, I'm not feeling the greatest. I'm not supposed to film, so I decided today to just edit and then I'll film tomorrow. 
But my banana, I had bananas that were going bad for so long, so I'm making banana bread since it's very few ingredients and everything I have in the house. Um, then I'm just gonna continue editing and revising videos. I just feel, oh, right here, my goodness. It's like the worst feeling, but I don't wanna keep talking about it because it's gonna become worse. I'm trying to just ignore it and make myself feel good so tomorrow I feel better. Um, I can film with no wahala or anything. Uh, but yeah, just working on that right now. Let me show you guys. So here's my banana bread. Oh, the bananas. Um, I just melted butter. It's supposed to be a third, which clearly that is not. So I'm gonna add some more. Um, and yeah, should be quick, quick recipe. Preheated the oven. Uh, my oven does not have any numbers. So wish me luck. Okay, found my one third cup in the cupboard. Let's see if my eyeballing actually made sense. Oh, I'm such a genius. Anyway. <laughs> So I think we're pretty good. I don't have a loaf pan, so I'm making it this. Pray for me, hope it works out. Um, I'm just gonna butter this up. Uh, well, not butter this up, butter this up. Um, and I think we should be good. So really, it's banana cake. <laughs> That's what I've decided. All right, I think there's enough heating happening in here. I don't know how to tell what the temperature is. I have a, te like a, what's it called? Thermometer that's maybe not gonna work. Just like hover it in the oven. Oh my god, it smells divine. You can see the ends are cresting, and I put a toothpick in. Let me show you guys. All right, I'm just gonna poke it just to make sure, and it's come out clean. So I feel like it should be done. My issue is I didn't know the temperature, so I had to increase it. Like I think ten minutes in, fifteen minutes in. So I want to say it's done and I don't want it to burn, but I don't know. I mean, if the toothpick is going in and it's fine, I feel like it's done. <laughs> but it's only been, oh, it's been 40 minutes. Okay, I think it's done. So apparently when it's a loaf, that's when it's, you cook it for 55 minutes to an hour. But if it's a cake pan, they said it can be done as quickly as 20 minutes. And it's been, it was in for the low heat for I think 11. Then I added, the extra time or actually I had 14 minutes left of my timer so for 15 minutes it was in at low heat and another 15 at the proper heat another 10 at the proper heat so I don't know this is some ghetto banana bread but it looks good it smells good I think I'll be happy <laughs> when I put in a knife it also is running in like going in and coming out clean so I think it's good and I let it sit for a minute I don't know if that's what you're supposed to do with cake I want to eat it right now <laughs> Um, but oh, it smells so good. I forgot cinnamon. Usually I realize my my sisters and my mom put like cinnamon and other things in it. So this is gonna be like my first attempt. Not ever, I'm pretty sure I made banana bread in uni, but since like living here, let's just say that. Cause also the bananas, I use the small ones. They're a bit like more difficult to gauge how much you need. So I had to try and figure that out. But if it turns out good, at least then in the future I can put in nuts and cinnamon and all that fun stuff, but yeah. All right, I think I'm just paranoid because it looks light because there's no cinnamon in it. That's really it. Um, I don't want to start off with an end piece. I like these pieces. Like, I don't like those. My mom loves those because they're all crusty and hard. <laughs> and that's her thing. So let's taste test this bad boy. Oh my God, this is so freaking good. I've had two pieces. I think I need to chill because I'm going to eat half the pan. But I mean, the whole point was to make myself feel better, right? Oh, so good. Definitely super moist. I wouldn't say it's like undercooked. I think it's like it could have been in a little longer, but not so much longer at the right temperature for the amount of time, the whole time. I didn't need to be in for an hour just because it's not a loaf. It was um, like you guys saw, it's a cake dish. So I feel like 30 minutes at that thingy at that in the in the cake pan would have been perfect but oh my god so good can even see my eyes are starting to get low 
It's like every sign of sickness. Ah, oh, I need to stop thinking about it. Good vibes only, good vibes only, positive vibes only. Let's start thinking about this vlog that I'm trying to edit for you guys. I should, yeah, it'll be up obviously Saturday. Not even should be, it will be up Saturday. I am not leaving my house for a really long time, so I have nothing to do but work. That's why I'm also not that pressed. I'd rather rest, get all of this out of my system and, you know, like be productive the next couple of days than to like kill myself today and then just still feel like trash or worse, you know? <laughs> I feel like baking this exuded all my energy. <laughs> Meanwhile, it was so easy. It did not take long at all. I'm just gonna start purposely having rotten bananas to just make banana bread. And I also want a cake dish from Ikea so it can look cute on my countertop. <laughs> hey guys, ha I'm always saying happy something. Hey guys, it's Thursday. Um, I'm a bit out of it still. I don't know what's coming upon me. It doesn't even feel any more like a sickness. Like, I still feel congestion beside my, behind my face, but it's kind of like that feeling when you have had a lack of sleep, but I slept yesterday. I even turned on my alarm on my way to bed. I was like, what we're not doing is waking me up. Still woke up at 6.30 though. <laughs> so that was pointless. Um, but yeah, I just feel off, but at least I've been doing stuff. I edited the vlog for this week, which is good. I'm making tea. Um, I'm going to cut up, I'm going to say I'm going to cut up a few videos and then edit a reel that needs to be up today and then cut up a few videos for shorts and for my Bachazi page, um, as well. Uh, what else? I have a lot of stuff to do because yesterday I didn't do anything because I was feeling so bad. I'm trying not to feel guilty about it. I'm just like, you know, I just work today until you get your stuff done. You know, that's what's most important. Um, and I had YouTube videos to go up and I'm just here like, what is happening? Cause they can't at the moment. Um, I'm not really gonna share the story as to why, but they, uh, it is what it is, I suppose. But that kind of screws me up. I've been really good with trying to be consistently posting. So I think I just need to pull up my big curl pants. <laughs> Put all excuses aside and just get it done. Uh, but yeah, anyway. I literally had the most laughs the last two hours at any vlog. Like last week was hilarious. So much fun. I kind of like this whole be inside for two weeks, go outside like crazy, then go back inside for two weeks. <laughs> They're gonna keep doing that all year. Minus December, we know that's gonna be, we're gonna be out every day, but um, minus that month, that month of craziness. Um, I literally like, I really like this. It was nice, I was like, yeah, I'm enjoying myself. I don't feel guilty, I don't feel like I took away. I purposely was like, I'm going out today, so let me go out today. And then now I'm back in the house. Um, I don't think this weekend has anything going on, thank God, so. Really enjoying my house. <laughs> I believe it's Saturday. It's been two days of just laying around doing nothing. It was uncle's birthday, so we just cut cake. And now, obviously, like clockwork, Polly, Pimpy, and I are out. Um, we're gonna meet Tali and a few other friends for some drinks. I really thought I was sleeping this weekend. I don't know, I keep lying to myself. Welcome December, just welcome. <laughs>
Oh, 